Hello and welcome back to another Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, please like and subscribe to the channel for future content. This, oh, we've got some juiciness going on today. So, uh, the Anime News Network, supposedly they've actually received a police report regarding Samantha in New Heart, and obviously she's the lady who... Uh, faked a swatting on a home but this is what the juicy part comes to so what i say we do actually have the uh the actual report here so what i will be doing i'm going to be uh just posting it up on the screen now actually no no what i'll do because i say cause it's a bit uh, muddled and all that what we'll do i'll leave a link to that down below so what i'm going to be doing we'll be speaking about the actual page on Anime News Network. So, we have police report, dub voice actress's door damaged, classified as a criminal mischief. So this was posted uh, today, so we're going to read it through, and obviously you'll have it on the screen as well. The claim that voice actress Samantha Newhart's rental home door was damaged on February 18th was confirmed in a police report obtained by Anime News Network from the Williamson County Sheriff's Department on Wednesday. According to the report, an unknown person damaged the residency's front door. So, she claims that she received a phone call from a fake phone number. Okay, well, again, you've got that number to the police, they'll be able to trace it or whatever, unless it was a uh, burner phone, obviously. Um, number that said she was swatted. She drove to the rental home and found the door damaged. She then contacted the police. So, she went there, obviously it was claims of a swatting, there was some police presence would have been there straight away. But this is where it gets better. Inuhart posted photos on her Facebook account on Monday alleging that she was swatted at her Texas rental home and attributed the situation to supporters of voice actor Vic Mignogna. Or Mignogna, whatever his name is. Okay? We're going to call him Vic. We'll just keep calling him Vic from now on in future videos, people. Inuhart's Facebook post came under scrutiny after it was published on Monday when it was discovered that the photos used in the post that day were the same ones she posted on her own Facebook account after police response to an alleged burglary to her rental home in 2016. Anime News Network reached out to Inuhart and she clarified that she did reuse the photos in her Facebook post because the door that was damaged on Monday showed her home address number. In order to avoid showing a house number on the damaged door, she stated she instead used the old photos. First of all, with all of that, she's saying that the actual uh, number was on the house and it was damaged. Well... If you supposedly got swatted, people know where you live. That's number one. Oh, I didn't want to show this photo because it was this one. Well, you said it was your rental home, and the photo's from 2016, the your rental home. So, it's the same address. So, you're just digging yourself a bigger and bigger grave here, Samantha, in your art. It's... This is just so bullshit. All of it is. You can just tell. In your heart's account, the police response to the burglary in 2016 also claimed the call was made in error and the home sustained damages from the police. Her Facebook account is currently deactivated. So, In your heart's account was shared on social media prior to the discovery of the photo's origin, including by Crunchyroll director of events, Adam Sheehan. Excuse me. He actually issued an apology via Twitter on Monday that stated that he, when he found out that the account of the event was not true after discussing the situation with others, he went on to ask that individuals do not attack her. So yeah, Crunchyroll have been with Funimation from, I believe it was 2015-16 to 2018. So obviously this guy is going to be friends with them. So again, that's dragging people into your bullshit stories and they're going to get it in the neck because of you lot. So, obviously, Inu had previously rel relied on an account, I relayed an account, involving Vic on February 5th, where she alleged that she encountered him having sex on her bed. 
in her hotel room during a convention, followed by a post regarding Funimation's independent investigation on February 12th. In the post on February 12th, Inuhard stated that she gives testimony to Funimation the previous week about instances involving Vic and other voice actors and actresses of which she claimed to have knowledge. Inuhart reiterated to Anime News Network that she stands by the veracity of these statements. So, again, that's kind of going against what Monica has said in her statement. And obviously Monica was like, oh, I didn't know he was doing this to three of my closest friends. I didn't know this was happening. But according to Samantha in New Heart, who gave a statement, that they all knew. It's like, what? You know, other voice actors, they all knew. They, knew, they all have, as she has knowledge of what has happened between all of them. So... Again, Monica was saying that no one knew and she thought it was going to be you. But it was kind of like one of those secrets which no one talked about sort of thing. But again, this goes against everything Monica has said. Um, so obviously, ANN has a contact with Funimation in regards to Inuhard's participation in their investigation about Minonia behaviour and the representative declined to comment. So obviously, declining, you know, again, it's none of our business really if they were or if they're not. But you could actually take that as well. Obviously, she must be involved if you're if you're declining to comment. You would at least say something that would already be prepared. The I Stand With Vic social media campaign began in response to allegations of misconduct levied at voice actor Vic in contrast to the Vic Kick Vic campaign. Allegations against May, uh, Vic, some dating back as far as 1989, came to the service in the last four weeks. So we've had nearly, what's that? Yeah, nearly 30 years of uh, bullshit, and everyone's like, you know what, I don't uh, believe that, you know, he's done this, he's done that for the last 30 years, we're not being funny again, it's going back to what I said before, you're all in your mid-30s to late 40s, you know, even bloody hell, Vix 56, and bloody um, beta male Goku is fucking 50, so I think you all should know better than to act like this, and to actually know what to have done in this whole situation, you know, Sean Shemmel is 50 for fuck's sake, why didn't he stick up for these women if he knew? Uh, sorry about that, I was really interrupted by someone, um, right, okay, um, you know what, I need to get a little sign that says if I'm online or not, or if I'm recording, so anyway, yeah, so there's that one there, and just going to go on to something very quickly now, on to another thing we have quickly, um, it does seem also as well that Anime uh, Network News is actually stopping people from commenting or who support Vic. And they're actually deleting posts and they're actually getting rid of anyone who posts anything about it. So I'm just going to pop this on the screen by here. So AO Outsiders, Nick Rita, I guess Anime will cover anything that supports Kick Vic. Take it a step further, their mods are deleting almost every comment of people who support. This response by a mod basically proves it. They have no idea what's coming, I stand with Vic. And it's basically them saying, uh, Sorry, your response was hidden. I'd respond exactly, but not sure if your mods would have got here. Sorry, but some fans started a bit some bullshit go for me fundraiser to raise funds so Vic could sue her. Obviously, they don't actually know what's going on. And they've literally, they have no idea what's going to happen. They, they've they literally just opened such a shitstorm of everything. And it's going to be beautiful to watch. When all this actually comes to uh, come to an end in court, which I hope it does in court. Because then you will know, find out if Vic is innocent or if he's not. And obviously all these people, you know, it's, it's everyone's literally bad as each other at the moment. You know, it's a he said, she said thing, you know, which is typical schoolyard bullshit. So, anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video.